No doubt, the issue of Namde Kano and the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, could be a touchy one. And Igbo elders will be looking forward to an update on their meeting with the president. Yes, he obliges and gives a status report. Recently, you told a delegation of the Southeast elders who visited you here in the villa that you would consider their request for the release of Inam de Kano, the leader of the proscribed indigenous uh, people of Biafra, IPOP. Do I have any update on that? There is one institution that I wouldn't dare interfere with, that is judiciary. Kano's case is with the judiciary. But what I wonder is when Kanu was safely in Europe abusing this administration and mentioning too many things, I never thought really he want to voluntarily come and defend himself on the accusation he has. So we are giving him an opportunity to defend himself in our system, not to be abusing uh, us from Europe, you know, as if he, uh, as if he was not a Nigerian, let him come here uh, in, with us, and then criticize us here, uh, and then Nigerians know that I don't interfere with the judiciary. Let let, let him be listened to. So but no but those who are saying that he should be released, no, we cannot release him. No possibility of a political solution? No. There is a possibility of political solution. If people behave themselves, all well and good. But you can't go to, uh, to a foreign country and keep on uh, sending uh, incorrect uh, economic and security problem against your country uh, and thinking that you, you never have to account for, for what you have been doing. Let him account for what he has been doing. Mr. President, as we wind down now, I don't know, I, I think that sometimes you must sit and reflect about when you, you know, you tried many times to be leader of this country and you succeeded on the fourth attempt. And I'm sure that you had your goals for this country when you had, when you ran for office, the many times you offered yourself. Um, when you think and, and look at where Nigeria is and the way forward, do you fear for this country? Do you fear for our oneness and our unity? No, I don't. I don't because, to be frank with you, from 15th January 1966, I have been in all the trouble in this country, including being in detention for more than three years. I, I think um, Nigerians, they make noise, I think, to get a better deal. But they know that we are better together than separate. I sincerely believe in that. They are just, yeah, they just make noise so that they can get better deals. One conversation that has refused to exit national discourse in Nigeria is restructuring. True federalism is necessary at this juncture of our political and democratic evolution. Some will say the APC had it clearly written in their manifesto. But what does President Buhari think about it? But there are those who believe that if we continue at this rate, we might not last together for much longer, that we need to restructure to truly achieve our potential. Do you see that <laughs> argument? Those who talk of restructuring, I want them to define what do they mean in their own concept of restructuring. Do they want more states? If they want, look at the map of Nigeria. At whose expense? I, have, I was having a problem with people from Southeast. They said they wanted each, each geopolitical zone about 60, they want. I say, okay, go and look at the map and see how many, how many of the existing states will contribute to the other states. That was the end uh, I heard about them. All right, President. <laughs>
I, I mean, I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, because of those who think that the federal government is too heavy, it's handling too many things. The states need more powers. They need to be able to unleash themselves. And that if we're able to empower the states and in turn empower the local governments. <clears throat> that, you see the problem we are having here now. This is a result of a political solution. The political solution failed because there is nothing is going on. When you watch the faction of the Mr. President, the boy there, you will see that when the, the case of Mazinam Khan was raised, he threw his face, his face, everything changed. He, the, the reaction indicate that, what is this one talking? Nothing is happening, leave those people, they are not serious. That's language that shows in his face, shows that the IPUB have abandoned Mazin Namdekanu. It shows that IPUB leadership have failed Mazin Namdekanu because nothing is happening. The man look worried, he don't, nothing is bothering him. And when he was asked if he is afraid of one Nigerian or if Nigeria will break out, he said no, because we have failed Mazinam Khan. Nothing is happening. But if there is an action going on, there will be something they will ask. Don't you think that if this man is not released, this situation will not come down? But there is no situation going on, and you see it. That is the result. And when people are calling on the US, you will think uh, we don't know what you are doing. These are the results. Coming to this, uh, the one that uh, they said a uh, political solution could be a restructure of the zoo. Now, thank God, the same question we are giving to him. And he said that the people who come for the restructure, he asked them only one question. Up to today, he have not seen them again. Meaning nobody is going for restructure and nobody is going to for political uh, solution for the release of the, the, the world mass largest movement in the person of Mazin Namdeoku Kanu, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. You see it, the leadership must be held accountable if anything go wrong with Mazin Namdekanu or Biafra restoration. They must know that this is MAP, is Yokubundu one in Biafra land. Thank you. Share the video so that the leadership will see their, their achievement. This is the achievement of the leadership. <laughs>